Hey everybody, welcome to today's Facebook Live. I am Leanne, I'm with Sonax, and today we're gonna to talk about a new name and a new packaging change for one of our most popular products. The product formerly was called the Sonax Paint Cleaner. Now this is a little bit of a misnomer, and that's one of the reasons why the name was changed. Um, it is more of a uh, cleaner wax. It also contains wax. It's an interesting hybrid of both organic and inorganic products. So it contains a little bit of silicone. Um, so that's why it is not safe for body shops, uh, just because you can't paint over it. Um, so we went ahead and changed it to the Sonax Cleaner Wax. So this is the new name and the new packaging. Packaging looks very similar. Uh, on the back, though, on the new package, it has some little how-tos on there. Um, this is a great uh, polish and wax. It's a one-step. If you have uh, very light swirl marks, for instance, maybe from a car wash or from fingernails, like on door handles, um, this is a great one-step uh, polish wax to use. Now, one of the differences between this and, say, like our Perfect Finish or our EX0406, which is also could be a uh, one-step uh, polish and wax, is this uh, is not a diminishing abrasive. This contains really fine particles of aluminum oxide, and that's what it uses as an abrasive. And then the hybrid mix is it mixes with a wax in there as well. So you have light swirl marks, you're going to clean those off, and then you, it's going to also have a wax in it. So the wax, I believe, is Carnuba based in this, but it also has a little bit of the um, polymer base. So that's another part of the hybrid. So um, we use this wax. Uh, for those of you familiar with Competition Ready, that was a show that Auto Geek uh, promoted on Velocity for two seasons. And earlier this year, Sonax sponsored one of the sessions. And it, we worked with Adam Carolla out in, you know, the comedian Adam Carolla. Out in California, he was getting two of his uh, beautiful Lamborghinis ready for the Amelia Island uh, auction. So one was a uh, 65 and one was a 67. So here's something that's interesting. This is another great use for this product. If you're working on um, a classic car and you don't know if it's single stage or a base coat, clear coat paint, um, the great way to tell, and Mike shows you this tip in the episode, uh, you take a, a clean microfiber and you take a polish like EX0406 or Cut Max or something like that. You put a little bit of polish on it and you rub it on the car. If your microfiber comes off clean or stays white, it's a base coat clear coat because you're, you're just polishing the clear coat. If it comes off and the color of the paint is on the microfiber, that means it's a single stage. That means there's just paint on there. So one of the interesting things about the blue Lambo that we did for Adam in this episode was he thought it was the original paint, thought it was a one owner car, blah, blah, blah. The front end of it, we did the, the uh, test on and the microfiber was clean. So that was a base coat, clear coat. But when we moved to the side panels and the back panel, color came off on the microfiber, meaning that was single stage paint. So what had happened was something had happened to the front end, uh, and it had been repainted with more modern uh, technology and then those two are blended on there so we really had to be careful on the paint because single stage paint is very soft so that's another great use for this uh, product is if your paint is very soft or um, it's just super light swirl marks um, this is the the go-to product now today is a blistering hot fall day in indiana it's 90 plus degrees out here i tried covering my car with um, this moving blanket but it's still pretty hot on the underneath side so I don't know that I'm going to use this today on here because the paint's just too hot it needs to be used on a cool car so either it's been sitting in your garage or um, in the shade for an extended period of time where it's cool to the touch I came out here a minute ago to test this it is not cool to the touch so I'm not sure I'm going to really use this today but I can't explain the technique to you so on the cleaner wax it can be used one of two ways you can use it on an application pad as it shows you here on the back uh, which is our regular Sonax application pad, or you can use it on one of the um, polishing pads. Now, like I showed you last week, the great tip we got from uh, Nasser was to use the backing that comes with the Sonax clay disc, because it has a little Velcro strap here. You take one of our pads, and it just goes right on here. And then you can use this to put it on the car. And basically, the use, you, you spray it on there, or you, I'm sorry, it's a liquid, so you squirt it on there, you smush it around a little bit, give it a minute or two to dry, then you take a clean microfiber and you wipe it off. 
and that should take out any light swirl marks again from either going through the car wash or fingernails from a door handle that type of thing and it's very gentle to the paint now because it is a cleaner wax it does contain some wax in there so you don't necessarily need to wax over it unless you like that glossy top coat on there in which case you can use um, our liquid wax which is kind of a um, it's a married couple to the uh, cleaner wax you can tell the packaging is very similar the way you know that they go together type of thing you can also use this on a machine we had the uh, the flex out here today because I thought I was gonna be able to fire it up um, you can use the uh, cleaner wax right on the flex and use that now you want to make sure that your machine is turned down to like a one or maybe a one and a half because you want the machine to do your work but again you're using the cleaner wax because the paint might be delicate so you definitely don't want to go at, at it aggressively like you would with one of our polishes because again it's not not a polish it's not diminutive so it, it stays that uh, aluminum oxide stays in there the abrasive stays in there with the wax so if you want to be gentle you either want to use a polishing pad or the medium grade pad like this so Sorry I can't demonstrate it for you today, but it's just too hot out here. I thought having it under this might uh, cool it down a little bit, but it's been under here for a half hour and it didn't work. So have a great weekend and we'll see you here again next week.